This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the picture snap feature in Probe for EPMA in order to navigate around your samples using an image you've taken of the sample. So to do that, first we need a picture. So I've already taken this picture of my sample holder with a couple, three samples in it. Um, I actually made a camera box so that uh, I can get a good consistent picture every time that's orthogonal to the surface of the sample. Uh, but you can use your cell phone camera, uh, any picture of the sample will work. But obviously the uh, more precise and more even the picture is relative to the camera, the better your calibration is going to be. So I have my picture. Now I need to open the picture snap. So we go to run display picture snap and that opens up the picture snap window then we go to file open image file and we navigate to our folder uh, that's got our image in it in this case it's already defaulted there and open our image so once our image is open we need to calibrate it so pfe knows where pixels on the image are for stage coordinates on the pro so we're going to go to window calibrate image to stage coordinates and that brings up this dialog and here you can see we have 0.1 calibration, 0.2 calibration. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick two points on our sample holder that we can see on the image as well as in the actual microscope. Uh, also note that there is uh, two types of calibration here. We have the two point and three point, and that opens up a third calibration point. And this is uh, for accounting for stage or sample tilt. So if our sample is tilted, uh, we can pick three points on its surface. PF, PFE will determine the uh, slope of that plane, and when you click to navigate, it will actually move the z-axis as well as the xy-axis in order to maintain focus. Uh, obviously, that only works if it's got a planar flat tilt to it, uh, where uh, irregular samples, surfaces, uh, it can't account for that. Uh, since we're doing the whole holder, we're going to do a two-point calibration since these samples will have different heights anyway, uh, and maintaining the z-axis uh, distance uh, is going to be impossible, so uh, we'll just do a two-point calibration. So what I need to do is I need to find a couple of objects that I can see with the scope and see on the image, and I like to choose these screws that are on my sample holder. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and navigate to one of those screws. And we want to line it up with the crosshairs as best we can in order to get the most precise calibration. So there's my screw. I'm going to dial it in here, get pretty close to the center. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to tell PFE where that point is by first doing read stage coordinates, which will get the XY coordinates from the probe for that point. And then I'm going to pick pixel coordinate on the image. So we can go up here and click that point. Now I need to do that for another point. So I'm going to go to the screw down here in the bottom of the image. And we will line that up. Get it in there pretty good. That looks pretty good. And now same thing, read stage coordinate and pick pixel coordinate. So that's going to be this guy down here. And now you just hit calibrate picture and it saves that calibration file and notice there's a little bit of information here where we can actually kind of get an idea of how well our calibration did and this uh, is a measurement of the image uh, distortion and this is the measurement of the rotation I like to keep this below a percent or two and same with rotation below a degree or two um, I like to get it as precise as possible uh, just a note, if you do make a mistake, for instance, one of the common mistakes I have with my holder is I'll accidentally pick this screw instead of this screw if I'm not paying attention. Uh, you can just start over. So I'll show you what happens. So I'm going to pick my pixel coordinate again. Click it there and hit calibrate picture. It does the calibration. But now you can see that it's throwing a warning. It's saying, eh, something's probably not right here. Your calibration distances are greater than 10%. It, it's basically saying, uh, check your work here. And you can see this yellow line. That is what PFE thinks is the stage limits. And you can see that's obviously screwed up. So if you do something like this, it's no problem. Just repick your pixel coordinate. Or in the case that you messed up the stage coordinate, you can just repick the stage coordinate. So I'm going to repick my pixel coordinate. 
and hit calibrate picture again and now I've got a nice good calibration so the more precise you are the more precise PFE is going to be in uh, locating uh, where you're at, trying to go so see this crack right here that runs across I'm going to aim for that little corner right where they meet and double click and now PFE is going to move there something else to note this blue box is what PFE is estimating the field of view so as I zoom the scope in you'll see that blue box shrinks um, and zoom back out and it grows so you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at uh, with that blue box which is a handy feature um, but you can see uh, just by clicking on it I got pretty dang close uh, to that point so that's navigating on picture snap but another nice feature of picture snap is that you can actually show your analysis points on there so I've picked some points on this sample uh, that I was might want to run for analyses so I've picked these points and now I can go to display digitized unknown positions you can also show standard positions or wave scan positions we'll just show the unknown positions and if we go up here now picture snap is displaying where I picked those points for analysis um, you can also go up here and show the labels long labels that shows the sample number and the line number and you can do short labels which just shows the line number only um, and then once you've displayed your analysis points on here you can actually uh, save them go to save as BMP burn in these annotations and save to a BMP and you can now save this file uh, for later reference and we can go and now you can see it shows you where you analyzed all your points so this is great for record keeping uh, uh, in order to maintain that spatial information for your analyses okay I hope that helps you uh, working with picture snap